Live at four, it's offer review. We got a bunch of stuff to talk about. And um, first things first, let's talk about and compare chaos theory to the nowhere heist where we're the ones being heisted, right? Chaos theory gives a faster seven red star than nowhere heist. And keep in mind the nowhere, the, the chaos theory has relatively low requirements to get into compared to the nowhere heist, much, much higher. Assuming you have Chaos Theory already maxed, you get 252 gold promotion credits per year. Enough to bring a character of your choosing to 7 Red. This is even including the extra Chaos Theories we're getting this month. Once you have Nowhere Heist maxed, you get one 7 Red Star Orb at the end of your which will give you a random character, which could be duplicate or a minion garbage. Of course, the first time rewards are great. This is simply taking into consideration if you had both events maxed out or weekly as fast if they're better phrase. Either way, it doesn't feel good. Chaos Theory takes significantly less resources to max them than the Nowhere Heist. Big shout out to Whirlwind Boy for making this post on Reddit. Also, the only way to make the Nowhere Heist requirements worth it is if Star-Lord and Rocket to be required on the Doom 2 tech raid team solution similar to OG Spider and Miles on Web Warriors. And that tech team needs to be released with the next two patches or immediately, yesterday, last week. If this was the case, everyone would be leveling and gearing up Star-Lord and Rocket anyway. And the rewards for the Nowhere Heist would be just a bonus. I, I, I think this is a fantastic thing. You know what else? I agree with this also right here. It also wouldn't hurt to remove the minions from the lead orbs. Yeah, I, what's the point of that entire nowhere heist? You know, you could all you could be pulling is minions. It's complete random garbage. Ugh. While the player base is on fire, Rolf, Kiran, thank you so much for saying players. Game is performing badly and crashing. Thirteen percent issues on mobile. Echo event and nowhere heist rewards are are tone deaf. The best I can, and then Scopely's response is, the best I can do is emojis. Yeah, thanks, Scopely. Thanks, Scopely, for for those eggplant emojis. We didn't, nobody wants that. We want the game to work right. This is the stuff we want. We need a response for the outrage in the player community. There's, and a big shout out to uh, uh, Joey Lifts. There's been a lot of salt from the player community and the mirror image event, the nowhere heist and the rewards, the game crashing and so on. Well reserved salt. They, they deserve salt directed at Scopely. We deserve a response from Strebo. And I agree with this, but part of me also says, what would he say? Like, I actually genuinely don't know what he would say. Like, what would he say? I haven't seen this much rage since the Thanos giving event. And you know what? A lot of it is because they didn't understand why we were upset at the Thanos giving event. It's a lot of the same reasons why we're upset with the Thanos giving event is why we're upset with the nowhere heist. So what does that mean? All we got was says, we'll take out the feedback for future events and they come back with these type of events to drain the wallets and resources. It just feel better to make the game suck. We don't give a, if we don't get a response in this week's blog post, it'll be a huge fail in Scopely. Yes, it is one thing to be heard and different thing to actually act upon and make it right. I hope so, man. I just know that, uh, you know, I did that video earlier today with Brian, uh, Brian Shea over there from uh, Game Informer. And I hope that the, they, they take this serious, take this seriously, right? It just feels bad what's going on with the game right now. And hopefully uh, we get some sort of resolution, some PR work. We're our harshest critic. Hey, we're our harshest critic. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's go to offer review. Uh, we've got a lot of these uh, limited time sales right here that have like bundles right here. $49 for 180 character shards of kind of, uh, this is for the Inhumans. Uh, this might be nice if you just unlock Black Bolt and you want to round out your team or it might help you round out uh, your Inhumans so that you could uh, move towards uh, the Ebony Ma event. $49 for 180 times five in Marvel Strike Force land. That's a pretty good deal. Sound of Fury. We got two photographic orbs. I value these orbs at $3 a piece. These are the orbs that give a minimum six, maximum 180, average about 9.3. And then I believe this is an armory 14, which I value probably at 50 cents. 
doesn't quite add up to ten dollars but uh do what you gotta do uh you know there if, if you're if you're playing in the 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 event the 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 mirror whatever it's called uh you know the echo event you're only gonna get 50 shards so fear of missing out what if she's required for a legendary it makes me sick to even say that out loud it makes me sick 50 ca 100 character shards by playing in the event just enough to unlock her anyways red star ultimate pack i value these orbs at three dollars a piece or a buck and a half a piece, not three dollars. A buck and a half a piece. So we got fourteen right there. And that doesn't come quite. Doesn't even come close to fifty dollars. So Those like like closer to nineteen dollars, twenty one dollars, something like that. Let's move on. Uh, daily imprints offer, man, dude. To max out that Echo event, three hundred dollars buying this stuff. Get out of here. Extraordinary energy bundle. I would normally buy this and I bought this on Friday, but I'm kind of on I'm kind of on a, a salty mode right now. So I'm not buying this. Uh, I bought this last Friday. I understand if you want to buy it at 500 energy for $3 plus 50 blitz refreshes. It's fine, but I'm just not feeling it. I'm not buying it. So let's move on. The Sound of Fury. Again, we value these orbs at $3 a piece, so we got $15. Again, these are the orbs that give minimum 6, maximum 180, and average about 9.3. Value this offer at $7. Boy, Red Star Mega Pack. No way, man. Do you, you know how many Red Stars I would have to open up to even get an upgrade, man? I could blast through 50 of these and probably not even get an upgrade. Red Stars, RNG. Not good. I hate Red Stars. Still today... Not a fan of red stars. And we got five red stars here at a buck and a half a piece. Doesn't even come close to $20, maybe seven and a half dollars. These are trash. Don't recommend buying them. I actually think that seven, that offer for up here, if you're if you're interested in green ISO 8 energy, this is a better way of doing it uh, than that right there. Or this right here, the ISO 8 energy calendar, $9 for 910 energy over uh, seven days. Um, that also help a little bit towards the echo event right because part of the echo event is spending campaign energy special orb draft i value gold orb at buck and a half training orbs at a buck and a half premium orbs i really don't value for veteran players so i would be more excited about this offer if it was like two gold orbs two training orbs and two red star orbs but spending three dollars on one gold orb would feel bad uh it's just not a good deal let's move on legacy one orb characters from year one very little interest from veteran players on this offer right here i do want to mention that it has t2 training materials small amount of gold and small amount of purple gear is included in there and then the rest of these offers here are trash i want to go over the free to play account because there's a lot of bundles over here uh that are at least worth talking about that we already talked about this one right here the inhumans one but then we got this one right here, which is the X-Force team. We've got $50 for 180 of uh, the five members of the X-Force. This will help you get uh, Doc Ock. Okay, very cool. So, you know, if that helps you get Doc Ock, I understand. And then right here, the Sinister Six team, we've got... $35 for 150 of the rest of the Sinister Six, and this will do a couple things for you. Uh, this will help round out the Doc Ock team if you do get uh, if you do unlock Doc Ock. Also, this will help you unlock Invisible Woman and also Shuri at some point. So uh, that's an interesting way it'll help move you towards those those goals. So all of that is very interesting. Now. Let's talk about the rest of these offers. We're going to go over these quickly. Older characters, I believe, should be $5 for 50 character shards. So I don't see the value there in crystal for 20 bucks. Again, I think we got some conflicting information. Thanos right here, 50 character shards, 45 character shards for 20 bucks. I believe $5 is the right price for this. I also want to point out that Thanos is not a good standalone character. At a minimum, he requires to be paired up with Ebony Ma. But uh, in general... Uh, he, he's best fitted when he's in the complete uh, complete Black Order team, you know, uh, where he becomes empowered. All right. See, this is closer to the right price. Dead of Night offer for Proxima Midnight. 
50 character shards for $10. I believe $5 would be a better price. Huh. Quake? No way. See, no, don't do this. Don't do this right here. 45 character shards for $20? No, 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 no. Up here we had this up here. This is way better up here, right? Yeah, if you're going to do that. Uh, think about that. That's just not a good way of doing it. Again, $5 at, at the most. Let's just scroll past this. Again, Captain Marvel. No, 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 no. 50 character shards for $5. Uh, same thing with Minerva. They, they, they've sold all of these characters in the past. 50 character shards for $5. Uh, so, you know, I think you're best to wait. Hold off on all, all of these. Captain America, Sam Wilson, 50 character shards for $30. Now, he is a newer character, but that is still a stretch to get these prices. I just am not feeling these prices at all today. Uh, I don't see anything here of reasonable value. Let's just scroll past it. Nope, I hate this stuff. This is the only thing that's of reasonable value in the entire offer review today, but I'm not buying it because... I'm a little bit salty about the way the game is going. And uh, even though I don't know what he would say, but I do feel like something needs to be addressed here soon with the community. Uh, you know, I think that this post was on point saying that we do need a response uh, for the outrage in the player community. I feel like the Echo event is a big miss. They look at what was really wrong with the Thanos giving event and then to duplicate that again the reason why we didn't like the large chunk of the Thanos giving event. There was two problems with the Thanos giving event, but still, it's a big miss on my part. Let me know what you think in the comments section. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.